So before we start our tutorial, don't forget to check out my logo animation course on Udemy. Link is available in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this modern text animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition we will name it as main animation comp width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration i am going to choose not too much but let's say 15 seconds long and background color we are going to choose white color and simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background i'll name it as bg and i will simply hit ok then go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect which will show you the gradient ramp effect simply double click to apply and in the ramp shape instead of linear i am going to choose radial and select this anchor point and simply move this over here like this okay and we have one anchor point over here also so let's bring this downwards like this and let's swap this color so we will get something like this now instead of white color i am going to choose little bit of grayish color and simply hit ok and let's make this into fit so we will get something like this and we will lock this layer now we will select our text tool and for the text i am going to choose poppins font and for the color i am going to choose somewhere around like this this color and simply hit ok let's delete this stroke we don't want that stroke right now i am going to choose poppins bold version and the distance between alphabets i am going to choose minus 65 and make sure to enable this italic option like this now you can type whatever text you want i am going to type motion design like this select this text let's increase the distance between alphabets like this let's select this text let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay let's select this and adjust it like this so we will get this kind of text now select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will hide this one we will select this text first let's right click go to the uh, layer styles and i'm going to choose bevel emboss so i'll get this kind of bevels let's go inside this bevel and emboss and let's increase the size like this and also increase the softness totally up to 16 and the highlight opacity i'm going to choose not 20 but let's say 30 and shadow opacity let's choose 20 so we will get this kind of results like this let's select this get a uh, text let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply and increase the distance to let's say 30 maybe and increase the softness to 10 so we will get this kind of stuff let's make this softness 20 like this so we will get this kind of stuff now we will select this text then uh, we will go to the animation uh, and let's go to the opacity let's make this opacity zero let's go to the range sector one and let's create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit let's go to around two seconds and let's make this thing 100 so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation now let's select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i am going to move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation let's go to the advanced option and over here you will get this randomizer so simply hit on and if you hit play now we will get this kind of stuff okay let's select this and let's move this over here hit u and u so if you hit play now we will get this kind of stuff okay so the, our animation portion of this one is done over here so let's focus on this one as you guys can see we have not applied anything over here so let's go to the character menu and this time i'm going to apply stroke so with the help of this picker i'm going to choose this stroke color and let's select this fill and we will hit on no fill color like this so we will get this kind of stroke 
now select this right click go to the create and shape from text and we will delete this text layer like this now we will go inside the contents we will go to the add and we will choose trim path let's go inside the stream path and let's make this end property initially zero and create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames and let's make this 80 like this so we will get something like this now alt click on this offset and apply time into 60 uh, and if you see this now we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe and hit f9 let's select this one and let's move this over here hit u so we can see only the layers not keyframes so we'll get this kind of stuff now let's select this portion i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll name these layers as strokes and simply hit ok let's double click to open this like this okay hit u so we'll get something like this select this hit ctrl d go to 5 frames and move this over here go to 10 frames hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this let's select this third layer now in stroke what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type 0.1 select the second layer select this and type 0.2 select this one select this uh, one and type 0.3 like this select this one hit ctrl d move to 15 frames and let's type 0.4 go to 20 frames select this hit ctrl d move over here select this and type 0.5 go to 25 select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here type 0. 0.6 hit ctrl sorry hit ctrl d let's go over here move this over here and let's type 0. 0.7 go over here select this hit ctrl d move over here and let's type 0. 0.8 go to over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here and let's type 0. 0.9 go over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here and let's type proper one okay so if you see this thing now we will get something like this now select to this by holding control i am going to choose this kind of alternate layers and we will apply different color like i'm going to choose if you want then you can choose darker version of this red like this so if you see this thing over here we will get something like this if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation over here like this now let's select the stroke go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and simply double click to apply like this and let's increase the glow radius to 50 glow threshold to 100 like this and glow intensity to let's say point or uh, let's say 2 like this so if i hit play now i'll get this animation then i'll select this motion design text and i'll move this over here so after that this thing should start to animate so if I hit play now, I'll get first this, then I'll move this thing over here, then I'll get this animation. If you want, then you can decrease the opacity value to 30 and uh, softness to let's say 30. Like this. okay so this is how we will get this animation now right click new and create one null object select both of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's increase the size of this text like this select this text press p for position alt click on the stopwatch and apply wiggle and let's type 3 comma 3 like this so if you hit play along with this animation we will get some wiggle animation of it then select the strokes hit ctrl d select this third layer press s and let's increase the size somewhere around like this press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 10 like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect on it and simply double click to apply and invert it like this and in blending mode choose screen okay so we will get this kind of stuff like this okay if you want then you can decrease the uh, scale according to your knees and look then right click new and create one adjustment layer and again we will apply one glow effect on it so it will apply this to entire layer and this time i'm going to increase the glow radius to so let's say initially let's make this 100 and glow threshold also 100 and let's make this glow intensity to 0.5 or something 
like this so if i hit play now first i will get this then we will get this text animation so this is how you can create this modern text animation then after this let's select this and let's make the scale initial 100 let's create one keyframe go few frame forwards and then let's make this 125 or let's say 130 like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay so we will get this kind of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned